I've got some shop labels I want to show you, and you're going to be telling me what you understand about them. So Isaac Anoum, Mr. Number Vater, was invited into Mount Pleasant Lane School to teach a Year 5 class about fractions, decimals and percentages. OK, Isaac, in the lesson with Year 5 on fractions, what were you aiming to do? The aim of the lesson was to get the children engaging with me, but with understanding about equivalent fractions, decimals and percentages. I wanted to make their understanding real life, so that when they go out into the real world, I wanted them to understand half price, 50% off, 0 0.5. So we've had 50%, we've had half and we've had half price. Do they all mean the same thing? Yeah. Do they mean the same thing? Yeah. Right, OK. So therefore, and I've got half price here as well written in words. Can you see half price? Half price written in words. I've also got 50%. So if I had £10 and I've got 50% off, how much money will I actually pay then? Would it be £5? It is going to be £5. Yeah. I went in sort of quite hard at the beginning because yeah. I want them to understand that this is a real lesson mm. and there's a real outcome for it as yeah. well. So that no, and, was... I, and, and that was picked up straight away when you asked about the 70%. Right. Because the chil it, it was meaningful to the children. So this one says 70% off. Is that a big or small amount off what you pay? A big amount. How do you know it's a big amount? Because it's higher up than 50. Right, so it's higher up than 50. And what do you know about 50% then? 50% is half price. Adele, what was it about the way Isaac introduced the lesson or his teaching style that made the lesson as successful as it was? Well, I felt that he delivered it in... It was really, really clear. All the instructions were clear. It, it was very pacey. It kept the children involved and focused. I noticed that it's your natural enthusiasm for mathematics that seems to just drive the lesson. The children pick up on it and want to work with you, which is really positive. Right, so we're going to play number twister. Let me... I know, you're so excited. Let me show you... Let me show you the number twister mat, OK? Right, we're looking at equivalents. Now, on my equivalent mat, I have got a selection of decimals, percentages and fractions. And all I'm doing at the moment, Year 5, is making sure that you know your equivalents. And how do you think the twister mat helped with the lesson? I thought that was um, just a really fun way of involving right, all the children because not only the children on the mat were you know, involved in, in, in the game, but all the ch children around had to contribute yeah. and help them out. It was a collaborative working together and so on. This young man looks very clever. He is worth 100%. So what would his three answers be? 100% as a fraction is... 10. Close. 100% as a fraction. An area that I picked up on, when the children gave a wrong answer, you said to them, close. And it's that encouragement that tells them, keep going. Right. Whereas I think sometimes as teachers, maybe we give hidden messages when children give us wrong answers, mm -hmm. as if to say, oh, you're, you're so way out, don't even bother trying. So even when the answer is wrong and way, way wrong, sure. that close just gives them, oh, I'm going to keep going, I'm going to keep trying. Yeah. So, um, so I, I feel that is a, a positive strategy for the children. Right. Children, I'm going to write the fraction. I'm going to write the fraction here, OK? Can you write on your boards what is the equivalent percentage of three quarters? What is it, you think, about fractions that makes it such a difficult subject to A, teach, and, and B, for children to really understand? Possibly the symbolisation of fractions. So it's the, the one over four that doesn't look like a quarter to them. And I think there was an example of that in the lesson this morning mm -hmm. where um, one particular boy, he knew that 25% was a quarter, mm -hmm. but he didn't have that language yes. to recall quarter. And he said four, four, because he could visually recall mm -hmm. this um, line with a four underneath. I think that often children don't relate fractions to everyday life. But I think when it's on paper, as Angela said, it's often the notation that scares them and they can't see that mm. connection. And I think that's our job as teachers, to help them to see that connection yes. between the real life mm. and, you know, the mathematical symbolisation. 
So next time you go shopping, 10%, 20%, 25%, 50%, don't let your parents tell you what to do, you tell them.